So I've been working on this show for probably about eight years now, and I am still amazed at all of the things that can grow here in California, including this guy. What the heck is this? Any guesses? Okay, here's a hint for you. It's crucial to Jennifer Bjorklund's job here at the Dolphin Bay Resort in Pismo Beach. Yes, people definitely comment on them. They like them. They like the fact that they're green because they're, they're grown locally in Napomo, about 20 minutes away from here. So if you haven't guessed by now, we're talking about the lupa sponge. Believe it or not, but folks have been growing them for more than 10,000 years now, and today you can find a fresh batch of them ready for harvest at Deanne Kuhn's unique farm in Napomo. Right now, currently, we have the two greenhouses going, and they are like raising the, chi the children, so you do never know what you're going to get. Uh, one greenhouse may average anywhere from four to seven thousand. The other one, three to five thousand. There's no rhyme or reason. But like raising the kids, they can be two inches, six inches, twenty-four inches. You never know what the loofah is going to actually end up being at the pickable stage. The loofah sponge is actually a member of the gourd family and kind of looks like a small zucchini before it's harvested. Deanne says they tend to like the nice, warm greenhouses she has and the nice, warm growing season she has along the central coast. But even that doesn't guarantee a good harvest because as she calls them they are plants with an attitude if it likes you it'll grow very very well we've discovered that you can give a handful of uh, people in a room a full handful of seeds out of five or ten of them only a few of them will actually get a vineage out of that vineage only a few will actually be able to have a pick of a loofah it's a plant that if it likes you it'll do very very well if it doesn't like you we say please just don't take it personal since they have an attitude if they're hanging by somebody they don't prefer one of the two of them will just shrivel up so we try to keep them separated a little bit like arguing children. The lupa plant is made up of a robust vine with big, bold yellow flowers and curling tendrils that need a sturdy frame to cling to. Their growing cycle is totally unpredictable. Some days they might not grow at all, and other days they might grow rapidly, from half an inch to a whole inch in just one day. And then whenever the gourd reaches its maximum weight for the vine, it will cut off nutrients, and then the gourd will begin to dry out. So whether it's five inches, 26 inches, there's no rhyme or reason, just like raising the kids, the day that they wake up and say, that's it, I'm too heavy, they go through an automatic different life cycle. They actually begin sucking everything out, It'll redistribute to each and every other lupa that's growing on this guy's mother vine. And as it does that, it'll go from this big, big, heavy, heavy green to some of the lighter yellow ones that you do see hanging. And at that point, they'll actually even get a different color. They'll go from the light, light yellow all the way to the solid browns. When they're completely solid brown, the weight difference is just en enormous. But you can tell their feather weight at this point. You can actually uh, hear the seeds on them. At this point, you can simply peel and discover your lupa that's hiding on the inside. Well, they clearly like Deanne because she is growing about three to 4,000 lupas here a year. And what started out as a part-time hobby has turned into a full-time job, thanks in part to the continued interest level of visitors who, like me, were aloof to lupas before meeting Deanne. Wow, not, not a question. Most of their expression is, wow, I never knew. Um, when they find out that number one, we're not going to the ocean. Number two, we're not growing in big water vats. Most people, when you say the word sponge, mainly because of SpongeBob being around on TV, most people, you say the word sponge, they automatically go to the ocean. Yeah, the girls at the spa said you don't even need to put any lotion or anything no, on it, just a little no. water and it exfoliates. They soften just right fine. up and just whether you're using them for cleaning or bathing, they're just ultimately soft. That's good. Very inviting and enjoyable. You are the loofah whisperer. Ah, there oh, we go. You are. You're the loofah whisperer. I've heard that somewhere before. And Deanne has even expanded the operation in recent years to include a small retail store where visitors can now buy the loofahs and soaps and lotions she makes at the farm. It was just simply a pipe dream. Uh, build it and you can, you know, they'll come. Um, watch out what you wish for. It might just happen. There was no way to write any kind of a plan. Um, all I can tell you is that every time you mention the word lupa and you start talking about our lupas at least, most people are just simply so amazed and surprised, especially when they touch one of our lupas, so much different. 
no, there's no way of writing a game plan for this one. <laughs> Deanne says drop by the Lufa farm anytime. You don't even need an appointment. And for groups of eight or more, she'll even bake you cookies. But massages, those might cost you extra.